All right. Now, um, at some level, why is there nothing better? Why there's, uh, the reason there is nothing better is we don't have an objective way to measure if our clustering is any good. For supervised methods, for classification and for regression, we're predicting something specific. We're predicting a class. Right? And when you're predicting a class, you can measure how accurate you are. Or if you're predicting a number, you can measure how, how far that number is from where you want it to be. Uh, in clustering, you're not predicting anything. So you can't measure accuracy. All right. um, so if we could come up with a way to evaluate clusters, with a way to judge whether one clustering is better than another, uh, that would maybe give you a way to select uh, the right value of k for the k means, because then you could see well, which clustering is better, which value of k is better. Um, and there's two ways of evaluating clustering algorithms. I'll, I'll finish up shortly. Um, so you have extrinsic ways and intrinsic ways. Intrinsic ways is basically measuring is the clustering good in and of itself, and extrinsic is trying to measure is the clustering useful for something else. So extrinsic, what you're trying to do is you're clustering the data not for clustering and not to understand the makeup of the data. You want to use the clustering to help another algorithm, maybe help your classifier. So examples of this, you could use, you could represent images using clusters, or you could train a different classifier in each cluster, or you could maybe eliminate, eliminate outliers uh, using clusters. Or, and in all of those cases, the measure of how good the clustering is, is you do the clustering, then you run your classifier and see, is my classifier with clustering better than my classifier without the clustering? So that's a way to figure out, is your clustering any good? And you can use that uh, to... Uh, pick out the right value of k. Intrinsic is clustering by itself. Is it good in and of itself? Um, so you could ask, you know, does it help you understand the makeup of your data, right? Good clustering will. The problem is this is very hard to measure. It's a qualitative thing. Um, if you have some classes, you could line up the classes to clusters and see how accurate the alignment is. Just compute some, some measures. Um, sometimes you don't have classes, but you have humans. So you could ask humans. Now, the problem is you can't ask humans to cluster the data for you because that's a very, uh, very labor-intensive process. Uh, but you can sample some points and ask the humans whether those points should be in the same group or not, and then evaluate your clustering based on that. And we'll cover both of those uh, in the next lecture.